Hello and welcome to another episode of Crazy About Fly Fishing. I'm on the Nongata stream this morning. It's low, it's clear, it's freezingly cold, there's a ton of frost. Uh, I'm in a different section than normal because I was a bit late and the other accesses were all taken. So I'm going to fish a new stream, part of the stream I haven't fished for a while. So it's, it's getting onto winter time, the stream's going to close in, a, in, a, uh, in about a month. And uh, for spawning, so the fish are moving up and it's a bit of a wintry condition. So see what we can get. I can already see some fish in the pool behind me. I don't know if I'll get them though, it's super low and clear and uh, I think I'm going to spook them. There's no way to get to them. But uh, we'll try anyway. So hang on and let's go. Right, so there's a fish back here that I am going to cast to, but unlikely I will catch it. It's, I'm upstream of it, it's super clear. I can't really get a drift to it. Um, but I'm gonna try and see if, I'm, if I can get lucky. So that should be getting towards it. Didn't move for that. It doesn't look super spooked, but... It's not really showing any interest either. See if the flies are getting... Oh, it's looking, it's looking, it's looking! Oh, it went for it, it went for it! But it's gone downstream and... Where is it gone now? It followed the flies. That was unexpected. Okay, there's some fish holding in this little bit in front of me. One moved up, uh, I can still see more. So hopefully, a few casts in here will get me something. Maybe go a little bit further up. Alright, a good drift. Yeah, got a bit of a snag there. Yes, we got one. Yeah, yes, yes, that's what I was hoping. Try and see if I can land it fast. And I might be able to get another cast in. No, don't go downstream. No going downstream. Nice looking jack. There we go. Nice, first fish of the morning. There we go. Fish number one. Little uh, jack. So, nice fish. Good start for the morning. Let's release it. Okay, well, I can still see a few more fish in there. Hopefully, I'm not too spooked from that. And I can get a few out of here because this is a really good spot. And if you're the first in the morning at a spot like this, then that was could have been a take. And this is a good spot for a bit of a to stick around a bit and try and get a few. I uh, don't get a hook up soon, then I'll probably just let it let it uh, let, let it wait a bit and just let, let the pool relax. Especially if I hook another fish, then I'll just wait a bit and let the pool settle down. Oh, that was a terrible cast, that might be a snag. Okay, I've given it a few minutes rest. Just because I think that's probably the best course of action. I want to get a few more fish. Oh, it's suspicious. There's a lot of fish in this pool. So uh, hopefully I should hook another one. I might have kind of messed up the second round by the looks of it. Oh, got one. Yep. I left that strike purposefully late. No, it's going to bust me if it does that. Don't go there. Ah, oh, I came off. That was a strong fish. She pulled. That kind of wrecked the pool. Oh, I had to keep it out of down there. I couldn't let it go down there. 
Well, my plan of going further upstream backfired. There's a complete private property further up, so not possible. So um, it's actually a very short stretch this from this access upstream. So I might have a look and see if I can access a bit more downstream. And otherwise I'll head to another access point. This is less than a hundred meters up the upstream of the access point, so I don't know how there's a bit more downstream. Okay, well my mission downstream was unsuccessful. Encountered two other anglers, so uh, <laughs> they've just fished the stretch that I was walking down to. So uh, this is the problem if you're late on this stream. Always important to remember the all-important coffee for the morning. Nice when you get back to the car and you can have a coffee, a cuppa. Well, that didn't quite uh, go as planned, but I did catch a couple of fish, which is nice. So that's the thing about uh, Nongatai, you kind of need to be here early to get the, the first access to the point. It's a bit hard when you're coming from Auckland and driving three hours to get here. But, you know, just let's talk a little bit about access points. There's a bunch of access points on the Nongataha and that's marked and you can fish it above the state highway from the marked access point so it's marked along paradise valley road i think there might be four or five access main access points uh, you'll see the blue signs and you'll see notes on it the first one's got a map of the river with all the info on the access points there goes that plane again <laughs> um, to figure out how to fish the river you just basically have to try all the different access points over time and fish them all and see which you like best and where you catch the most fish. I personally like the first axis most and I tend to walk all the way down to the, the first axis on the first axis. So along all the axis parking areas there's also different routes that get you to different points on the river. So yeah and just think a bit about if someone gets there before you don't jump in above them and uh, ruin their water you know jump in behind give them a bit of how they made it here first so whether they're local and had to drive five minutes or whether you drive three hours from Auckland, it doesn't matter. Uh, first to the river, first spot, and you get your spot. So I'm probably gonna go downstream now and fish the axis, the bottom axis and go way down the bottom and then fish up behind where everyone else fished already. But I'll probably still pick up a few fish anyway. So that's just how it goes. I should have got up a bit earlier. <laughs> so let's see how it goes. Well, as you can see, the axis points are pretty clearly marked. So use the styles leave gates as you find them and respect the access we are lucky enough to be provided with so follow the instructions on the signs and things and enjoy a fantastic little river with plenty of fish in it well so my strategy is this it's low it's clear i know where the fish are likely to hold there's probably been lots of fishermen through here this morning i'm going to hit the spots i know holds fish uh, especially the deeper spots and I'm not going to spend too long anywhere. I'm going to fish them through, give them a few casts, and keep an eye out for maybe any big browns around. And that will be pretty much it. And hope I can hook one. I'm just going to try and cover a lot of water and find a pool with willing fish. This is a sort of spot where the odd, relatively undisturbed fish can be lying. And those are the ones that are only ones likely to be caught at the moment. Yeah, oh! Was that a fish or was that the bottom? Okay, let's try that again, that fish. It's a bit further up, better. Oh, it came over, got it. It's a good fish. It's a good fish. Yes. and land this as quick as I can. Pick the bomb. Yes, that's nice. Get it in the net. Nice. 
Oh, very nice. Good to get another fish finally. Yeah, took the uh, rubber legged fly, rubber legged stone fly. Oh. Well, it's been a bit of hard work, long wait for between fish. There's that little one. Nice rainbow. So yeah, it's been a bit of a wait, so uh, nice to get that one. Great, few and far between the fish at the moment, so yeah, a bit harder work in this low and clear conditions, but still a pleasant day out. Well, that didn't quite go as planned today, a bit uh, quieter and a lot tougher than I thought it was going to be. Uh, very low and clear and a lot of cars here. I can't show you all the cars, but I think there's about six parked at this first access, so yes, well, I hope you found the information about the access a bit useful, so and if you do enjoy these videos, there's plenty more new videos every week. And subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one.